Hey, geometry students, Mr. Zazek here, back in our Regents Review series, doing well. And uh, we're going to look at what we've referred to as Hills and Sass. And so one of the relationships that happens, I'm just going to draw this picture out, is <clears throat> when we have a right triangle, let's try to make that look like a right angle, and we have the altitude drawn to the hypotenuse on that right triangle. So we have a large right triangle and then we have an altitude. We remember that an altitude is drawn from a vertex perpendicular to the opposite side. What happens here is there's really three triangles. There's the large one and then the two smaller ones and all of them are similar. And so we can we have a little uh, series of proportions that we use. One thing we need to understand is the hypotenuse. That's the hypotenuse for the large triangle. And then we call this leg one and leg two. Doesn't really matter which one you call leg one and leg two. But if we call one leg one, we need to call this little section of the uh, side one and this other section side two. And then this is the altitude. Okay, so the condition, the setup for when this is, is you have a right triangle with an altitude drawn to the hypotenuse. And we use a little saying, we call it hills and sass. That helps us remember the, um, the setup for what proportions we can use. So just to show you kind of the pathway here, hills is, we call it hills and sass because the way we think of it is this. Those are the hills. Hypotenuse over leg one equals leg one over side one, or hypotenuse over leg two equals leg two over side two. And then sass, side one over altitude equals altitude over side two. So <clears throat> I suggest to people sometimes if you don't remember this, it might be one of those things that you study and write down, you know, on your reference sheet at the beginning just as an extra uh, formula. So in this uh, question, this was June 2016, um, short answer question. We've got this diagram that's out here, and uh, it says that we've got this perpendicular. So what we want to see in this is that we have a right triangle and we have the altitude. All right, so that's where, you know, kind of right triangle, altitude. We want to recognize that this is a hills and sass situation, okay? So they've marked it out here. And if the path from the park is 0.55 miles, determine in state to the nearest hundredth of a mile, the distance between the park ranger station and the lifeguard chair. So the life, the park ranger station is P and the lifeguard chair is um, A. This is our, you know, kind of our altitude here. So, um, Gerald believes the distance from the first aid station to the campground is at least 1.5 miles. Um, is Gerald correct? Justify your answer. So the first thing that we can do here is actually, we don't even really need to do a hills and sass. If we want to find the distance from P to L, what we can see is that this is a, a right triangle. And when we have a right triangle, we can do the Pythagorean theorem. So we've got a squared plus 0.25 squared equals 0.55 squared. Okay, so we look at this and we do, just grabbing my uh, calculator here, 0.25 squared is, so this would be a squared plus uh, 0.0625 and then 0.55 squared is 0.3025. So and if we subtract this from it, so 0 0.0625, we get uh, 0 0.24, and then the square root of that, so if we take the square root of that value, we get that A is 0 0.04889. And so to the nearest hundredth of a mile would be 0.05. Point, so 0 0.05 miles. Okay, so that gives us this distance. All right, now 
The next question, Gerald believes the distance from the first aid station to the campground is at least 1.5 miles. So the first aid, the campground is C, and the first aid station is, um, where is that? First aid station is over here. And so he's wanting to know what that distance is. Well, if we look at this large one, that's the hypotenuse. We could think of this as hypotenuse, leg one, leg two. This would be side two, side one, and we've already identified our altitude. So for this one here, I didn't finish that one. It should be 0.05. Okay. Um, and then basically, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this as a hills. Leg two equals leg two over side two. So the hypotenuse, that's what we're looking for, divided by leg two, which is 0.55, equals 0.55 over 0.25. So we do our cross product property, 0.25H equals 0.55 times 0.55, which is the same as 0.55 squared. So that's 0.3025. And then we divide that by 0.25. So the H equals 1.21 miles. So the last part of the question, Gerald believes the distance from the first aid station to the campground is at least 1.5 miles. Is Gerald correct? Uh, he is not correct. Because the distance is less than that, 1.21. Okay, so there's an example. We did the Pythagorean theorem and we did hills. All right, I got one more for us to look at. This was from August of 2017. Kirstie is testing values that would make triangle KLM a right triangle when LN is the altitude. So what we're saying here is this would be our altitude is perpendicular, a right triangle, this is a Hills and Sass question. We know the hypotenuse is 16. So I like to label it. Hypotenuse, leg one, leg two, side one, side two, altitude. Now, which lengths would make right triangle a right triangle? So here it's, you know, we just have to plug them in and test it out. So for option one, if LM is 13, and kn is 6, that would make this side 10. Well, we have to see, does that actually equal? So hypotenuse over leg 2, does that equal leg 2 over side 2? So does 16 over 13 equal 13 over 10? And you can kind of get that a couple different ways. You know, one way to do that is just to simplify the fractions, the other way is to cross multiply, and here you get 160 does not equal 169, so that can't be the setup there for number one. Well, what if we, so we're going to change now, and option two is, let's make uh, LM 12, and let's make NM 9. Okay, so let's try that out. Does 16, hypotenuse hasn't changed, over 12 equal 12 over 9. So 16 times 9 is 144, and 12 times 12 is 144, so that satisfies that. All right, and we could go and do the other ones, and, and you'll find there. So um, little things that sometimes people could get hung up on is, you know, understanding that sometimes you may have to add together to get the hypotenuse, or in this case, subtract to get one of the sides given the hypotenuse. But a very popular question related to hills and sass, which is a right triangle and the altitude. Okay, in the next video, we're going to do some stuff on uh, trigonometry. See you back here soon.